to cosplay. If you haven't, I think you should try it. Cause it's all in good fun and it doesn't really matter. All right, man. Uh, I gotta tell you, this has been such a great weekend. And um, I mean, we're standing here with the legend right now, Mr. Vernon Wells. <laughs> It's you, darling. Yes, it's it you. Is. I promise. Oh. How are you, man? I'm great. Now we have we've discussed a little bit. Now you had a you got a quite a career behind you. 165 films, right? Yep. And counting. And counting. That's why I didn't mean like behind you, like you were done. I mean, you, know, you still got oh, more going. Yes. Yeah, well, tomorrow, maybe. No. <laughs> I I still uh, yes. A lot of films I'm very proud of. And, you know. Yeah. It's been fun. What's been your most memorable film? Um. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't Road Warrior, um, but I did a little film called King of the Ants. Uh, it was just a, a really, really cool little movie, but I mean, you have to sort of say Road Warrior Commando, you know, weird science in a space for all really good movies. Because I started my career, so yeah. you know, I have to sort of say that they were films that I love and that I always think fondly of, but you move on, you know, and it's, been, it's, been, it's a progression. For me it was really interesting because I was the villain of choice for so long, and it became really boring because people would write things that were similar to something I'd done, so you weren't getting to be an actor. Playing evil is easy because unless you are an ass, it's, it's not a part of who you are, so you, you know, you're, you're making a character up. When you play someone that's like the, the, the friend of the hero, the good guy type thing, so much of you as a person goes into that role. And sure. it's, it's really scary because suddenly you're like, I don't want people to know I'm like that. So you, you find that it's more difficult to just relax to that. But I mean, you know, yeah, now you, it's fine. You, well, yeah, you were pretty evil in, in most of the roles I've seen you in. I yeah. remember you the most from Commando. But of course, Commando is one of my all-time favorite movies anyway. And you were so mean, we're fantastic in that movie. You've been fantastic in everything that we've seen you in. It's, it's, you know, I just think that I'm extraordinarily lucky. So what do you got coming up? Do we have anything that we can be looking years. for you? Like, should, we, should we be looking for Mr. Vernon Wells somewhere very soon? Yeah, I've got six films coming out, I believe. Um, six? Holy crap. Uh, a film called uh, The Lighthouse Keeper, which I'm very proud of, which was an Edgar Allan Poe, the last, the last thing that Edgar Allan Poe wrote before he died, oh, wow. called The Lighthouse Keeper, which I did a uh, film I just finished called um, Hide and Seek, which is really a cool, really a cool movie. And um, I just finished work on uh, Rum Runners, which is uh, based in the 1920s about the guys that flew um, alcohol over the border from Canada into America in oh, Prohibition, yeah. and how the, uh, the mob tried to stop them uh, because of course it was taking money off the bomb because they were making illegal food. Uh, so that's three of them that are coming out. Great, we'll be looking for those. Watch for those films. Thank oh, you so much right. for the interview. Yeah. really appreciate it and, and uh, I'll come over I want one of your pictures. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. I want a commando picture. <laughs> I love him. Do you eat anything? Oh! Yeah. Talk dance. Still, I mean, I gotta tell you, I'm standing here in front of somebody who I admire greatly, and that's a severe compliment. Mr. Ray Park, Darth Maul himself, and Snake Eyes, and a fantastic uh, martial artist for many for years. Sure. So he's right here. So how you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing? Very good, man. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time to come over here. I know you're busy. Everybody wants to meet you. That's so. good. I love, you know, I love being here, and I love talking about martial arts. You know, and I met you uh, earlier, and we were, you know, talking about some stuff and jumping around the lifestyle. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good to share some stories. Everybody has their own story how they get into their profession. One is martial arts. What started you down that road? Um, my dad loved Bruce Lee, and uh, ever nice. since, ever since I was a kid, 
I was climbing buildings, I was getting to construction yard and going up scaffolding, yeah. trying to be like Batman, <laughs> trying to be like Bruce Lee. Trying to be like Catwoman. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be Batman so I could have Catwoman. See? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about how uh, you were approached about doing Dark Mall. Um, uh, Nick Gillard, the stunt coordinator, he uh, called me. His stunt buddy told him about his kid who can jump around and run up walls and do things. And so Nick was interested. And he called me in and said, Look, hey, do you want to work with it? When I was with us, I want to test fly it so he showed Jules to start a fight and want to use the new movie. And of course, I knew all about Star Wars because I grew up in Star Wars. I'm a fan of Star Wars. And, uh, so I couldn't believe this was happening, so I was sort of looking at a stunt career and a hacking career. I wanted to be both. Yeah. And uh, so it was a big opportunity for me when I was 21. And, uh, and Nick liked what I did, and, uh, so they made me out of the dark more at the end of the week. I did an audition tape with Joe George, and uh, he was like, That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, so very cool. lucky. So, Snake Eyes. You were Snake Eyes. Yeah. I like Snake Eyes. Yeah, so, crush going on. Well, a little, <laughs> just, just, just a little, just a little. So, what was that like? For me, it's a dream because not only did Star Wars happen, for me, mm -hmm. but G I grew up with GI Joe first, yeah. so I had a GI Joe you? and then Star Wars. You know? So, my brother and I used to play the Snake Eyes and Snake Shadow. And so, and I always wanted to be a ninja as well, and that was the other reason why I went to my arts because at the time of Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and all, any ninja movie that's out there. And uh, I, I heard that they were doing a G.I. Joe movie. And so I just made a few phone calls to people that I knew in the business and said, look, I just want to find out who's doing this movie so I can audition. So I was going to you know, get an audition tape together, get my buddy to play Storm Shadow, and I told him wanted to be And I went and auditioned and got it. So it was very awesome. like, so it was a dream for me. You get so to play two dreams. Star yeah. Wars and G.I. Joe. It's awesome. <laughs> well, I have a question I want to ask you really quickly. Um, have you got to do anything here in Louisville other than just this? Because I was going to ask you how you like it now. You know, I've walked around a little bit. I, I um, haven't been out much. I went over to the Muhammad Ali uh, yeah. gym on a Friday. But uh, you don't have much time to get out yeah. apart from when you're in it. And it's nice hanging out with everyone. Everyone's been so nice. So, so warm and so quiet. Go with your bad self. Love is kind of crazy with